All right, guys, today we're gonna clean. I'm gonna show you guys how to clean the door thing. I took this one off to the truck today because this one is exceptionally, exceptionally dirty inside. So, we're gonna first start by taking the bottom bowl off. Take the clamp off. Set it off to the side. Take the bowl down. Take the gasket off so you don't lose it. And this is what we're gonna see inside. All right, guys. This it's, this has a, a lot of buildup in here. You see the little balls. It's normally what you're gonna see, but n this is actually a lot of caking in here too. So I'm gonna empty this out, and we're gonna see exactly what we get out, and then I'll show you how to scrape it all out. And then next, we're gonna take the top off. Do the same thing. Take the clamp off. Put it aside. Take the gasket off, sit it aside. And if you can see all the soot that's built up in here, you're gonna wanna clean that off too. The more soot you get out of here, the better it'll collect again. Because the more soot you have caked all through here, the less it'll trap. The inside of here is not too, too bad. This is the bottom, top. It's not too bad, but we still wanna clean all the carbon and soot out as much as we possibly can. Make sure we can collect as much soot as possible. Put this back in the vise. Now, first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get yourself a plastic scraper, like so. Just stick in here to scrape the soot at. Here's a better picture of those little balls on a white plate, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, now what we're first gonna do is we're gonna start by breaking it up. It's the easiest thing to do. Then we're gonna scrape. So you just take your scraper and just push down and try and pop up as much of the soot as you can and that's after breaking it up it actually looks like there's more in there now than what there was in the last picture all right guys we're gonna dump this out now give it a few taps and that's pretty much what we got so far but there's still a lot more in here Keep scraping as much as you can. Make sure you run around the edge. Try and get all the heavy stuff that's, that's caked on the edges of the, like, the collector. Dump it out. You use the can to scrape it off. The scraper, whatever. And now the can is clean what I call clean. Now, if you want to make this spotless again, a can of brake clean, maybe a can or two of brake clean and some rags, and you can make that real clean again inside, but it really doesn't matter. Just as long as you get all the heavy soot out of here is all that counts. Now we're gonna start, now we're gonna clean the top cap. And we're just gonna do the same thing. Just gonna scrape around the corners, try and get all the heavy stuff out of here. Scrape along the bottom. Scrape around the top of this. The little deflector up here. Now this deflector right here is what stops 
most of the big debris once you shut the truck off from traveling back into the motor or up into the motor. So we want to get that kind of clean. Then we're going to scrape the pipe out a little bit. Just for good measure. And we got some out of it. Next we're going to clean this out. Because this is pretty sooted up. Scrape off all the loose stuff on the edge here. We're going to scrape around the inside of the edge here. As you can see, the, all the soot that's peeling out. And I scraped that pretty clean. So we're going to go to the top section now. And we're going to scrape that out a little bit. The more soot you get out of here or scrape out of the can, the better it'll collect when you're done cleaning and put it back on. I want to be able to show you guys while I'm scraping this, but it's a little bit hard, so bear with me here. We're going to get all the way down to the bottom of the top of the can, try and scrape off as much of the gunk as possible. Gunk, soot, whatever you decide you want to call it. You want to clean this every 20, 15, 25,000 miles, almost every time you change your oil. You wanna to wanna to take it down and look at it. Clean the bowl out or whatever you feel necessary. All right guys, I finished cleaning at the top here and that's pretty clean. So we're gonna put this back in the vise don't clamp it down too hard, you don't want to bend the pipe. Make sure you got a set of safety glasses sitting around. All we're going to do is take a can of brake clean. Alright guys, we're going to clean the top of this and the bottom. Just spray around the edge. Take a nice clean rag. Just wipe around here. Get any of the soot built up off of here. Do the same thing, flip it over. And just spray around the edge. Just wipe it off. It'll come right off. May have to spray it a few times. You just don't want any heavy soot left on here. This way, you won't inhibit any sealing. Get a good seal. Gaskets are reusable. Put your gasket back on there. Easier to put the bowl on first. Don't do it like I did and almost drop it. Put that on there. Put your clamps back on. Tighten them up. And do the same thing with the top. Clean the uh, surface off here. That already pretty clean the bottom one. Nice and clean. Wipe around the top edge too. Put it on. Put your gasket on. I got the clamp on. That's how you clean your doors.